Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Stainless Steel, a Portuguese campaign. And I'm sorry that I've got a rush today, but I've only got half an hour to squeeze this session in. I've got a very busy bank holiday weekend ahead of me and I'm trying to fit things in and around other things that I'm doing. So we're going to go at a pretty brisk pace today. So uh, off camera, I just take a look at a couple of things. And we are, uh, as we left off last time, I've not done anything different, but it appears some things have happened. Now, whether these happened, because I recall there was a bit of an incident with an end turn phase and the game crashed and therefore we missed the end turn phase because the game picked up after the end turn phase. Well, apparently some things happened during that end turn phase that were really significant. I'll show you them very shortly. But first of all, a couple of bits of uh, housekeeping to take care of. The king sent forth yes. this ragtag bunch of 13 spearmen back to Lisbon for retraining, where they will probably sit there together with this army to form a very small garrison, just in case we get some attack by the Moors from this kind of area. There were some Junettes in there. They have been sent north to Oporto for retraining. And then this troop force will come down and they will bolster Seville in the king's absence. The king's absence, you say? What do you mean the king's absence? Where's he going? What's he got planned? Well, I took a look at the mission screen and all of a sudden, holy crusade, holy cow. This did not crop up on our turn phase. It must have happened. Uh, during the crash, but apparently the 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 the, the Pope that doesn't like bloodshed, that doesn't that uh, abhors violence, didn't want to entertain any ideas of us of a crusade against the Moors targets. Maybe we got him thinking. Maybe we got him thinking because he's decided to call a holy crusade against a more fitting target, against Cairo, and we have been asked to join the crusade. Talk about good timing, because we're going to join the crusade. Are we going to schlep all the way down to Cairo? Are we buggers like? We're going to use the opportunity to, to recruit crusader uh, units into our ranks to bolster our numbers. We're going to take that bolstered army and we're going to sweep through the Moors lands on our own personal crusade against those that dared to be smirchers in the first place. And then once we get here, there are some ships waiting. All part of the plan to make it look authentic, of course. These ships intended to ship us down to Cairo. Uh, no, I don't think so. Because as soon as we get to Mercia, we're going to kind of conveniently forget about the crusade and uh, stay where we are. Using this opportunity to gather some numbers. We're going to tell the troops we're crusading, make it all authentic. You know, oh, come on, guys, come on, far and wide, join King Enrique. King, join him, he's on a holy crusade, we're going to Cairo. And then we're not going to Cairo. <laughs> so we're going to do it, we're going to do it. We're going to leave a token force, a token force of 151 spears in Seville, whilst the rest of the army gather... Oh dear, that's not quite what we were anticipating here. Just bear with me. This uh, 60%. Right, okay. Oh, all right, all right. No need to cry over spilt milk. Any different? 65%. Right, this is not good. Uh, this is. We didn't really want to waste any additional so, some archers there. Blue, blue face is best, just about bearable. We, can recruit some mercenary spears, of course, and then we're going to join the crusade! Pilgrims, uh, nah. crusader knights on the other hand, bring them forth! Look at this, crusader sergeants, crusader foot knights. See, we can abandon the crusade as well, so as soon as we get to where we're going, crusade abandoned. Change of plan, folks! <laughs> the Pope is really not going to like us. But it's all about self-preservation. Here we go. This entire army should now be free upkeep. Should it not? Whilst on crusade. Yeah, upkeep zero, upkeep zero, upkeep zero. So we're saving a load of coin on, on unit costs here. 
We didn't get quite as many um, Crusader units as I was hoping. King Enrique has a mercenary captain brought into his ranks. It's time for war. Indeed it is. Lord. We need to keep moving towards our target, otherwise we're going to suffer abandonment. Um, I will not waste words on you, and here is our first target. Now, uh, kind of 50-50 here. We do have some better quality troops now. Look at that. Crusader Foot Knights. 8 attack, 20 total defense. 4 and 14. It definitely is the, the best units that we have. A couple of horse Yala, units. My Sultan wishes you dead. We can outmaneuver the enemy on the battlefield. But um, we've got to do this, right? This is what we have this is what we were planning all along. This has now happened. We, we've got to take advantage. We could go down here and take Silvez first for very minimal losses and then go across but that will open Seville up to attack from him and it's just going to cut on if he get if he gets inside here gives him extra defense it's just a problem so uh, we're going to turn orders about turn forward march march any more troops uh, pilgrims i mean we could just take the pilgrims just for the laugh it's cannon fodder extra units to draw away some of their spears and stuff, maybe have them chase the pilgrims around, give them a diversionary tactic. Yeah, that's the plan, isn't it? Right, there's no extra mercenaries in this area. Just double check. Yep, no mercenaries, that's fine. All right. Your win. This might be the only battle of the session. This might be the end of the session, uh, depending on how long it goes. So uh, let's dive on in and draw first blood of today. As you will, my lord. Two to one strength ratio. Captain Umea versus King Enriquez, who is now a renowned victor. Oh yeah, growing in popularity due to his victories. It may not be epic victories but they're victories nonetheless let's do this men bring our people honor glory and most of all for Christendom all right all right we're up and running come on no time for speeches we're doing this for God of course it's a crusade Men, fight with zeal. We're going to have to make use of our horses here. We're going to have to make use of our horses very effectively. Um, we don't have much in the t in the form of um, missile troops. Soldiers, single line formation! Little pilgrims, we want you just to perhaps draw a couple of... I don't know how this is going to work here. How is this going to work? How is this going to work? I have not got a foggy clue here. These guys, we'll maybe put them on the flanks. Just have them kind of fill in where they're required. Maybe if they have to strengthen the lines or something. Spear militia on that side, we've got some Andalusian infantry. So our right flank is a little bit tougher than the left. We'll put some pilgrims on that flank. Some pilgrims over there, just to lead them on a merry dance. But, uh, I think that should that should do us. I think. Yeah, this is going to be. Uh, we're fighting uphill, of course, which gives them a slight advantage as well, which is a bit of a shame. They have a ballista, as we need to worry about. Wow, they are uh, all the way up there. Nice of them, isn't it? To take the high ground. You take the high ground, we'll take. Now, how do we get. This is what I can never fathom out in this damn game. How to get 
You know what we're gonna do? Oh no 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 no! How about if we hold shift? That's not quite what we're anticipating. No, I don't think that's working somehow. What we'll do? Where are they going? Where are they going? Seriously? This would be a very slow affair. We're certainly not doing this, are we? Well, they're retreating into the damn bushes here. What are you doing? Where the hell? Hiding in bushes. You cowardly dogs. Is that what, we, is that what you're resorting to now? Hiding in bushes? We'll find you. We all moving here? Pretty much. Really don't relish finding in the uh, in the damn tree. It must be said. Lots of moving around. Yeah, we're a little bit old higgledy piggledy here. Let's see if we can. Some order. Bring the peasants forth. Right, they're kind of settled now. Which is bad. Oh, here comes the ballista. Here comes the ballista. Just about to. Uh, Getting into line. Anticipation. It's all about the anticipation. I could speed it up, actually, of course, the game speed, but uh, I'm never a big fan of that. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost ready. Patience is a virtue. Kinda just think we should just go in. No mercy, you know, just, just whoosh. Let's get stuck in. The archers are coming forward, obviously wanting to get into range here. Depends how far they come at us. Depends how far they come out, we were going to use our horses to perhaps charge into them, but they're just milling around. Just a bit of milling going on, nothing exciting. Right, we're warmed up and ready to go. That's a good, that's a good sign, isn't it? We're under attack, apparently. Uh, oh, yes. Right, okay. Let's get cracking, lads.
Uh, yeah, I could go in loose formation, but... Oh, they're moving again. Come on, don't do this, you damn fools. Go, 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 come on, whilst their uh, units are in the trees hiding, let's see if we can sideswipe the buggers. Halt! Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come out! Come out, come out, come out, come out. It's wise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Oh, look at the archers. They've been uh, pulverized by our um, javelins here. They're really doing a number. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, we've got the early exchange here. We've won the early exchange, I think. It's a bit more pulverizing required, I think. Desert archers have uh, gone back into the trees. What are you guys going? What are you guys? Look at this! 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 Look at this. Look at this. It's very good. Keep going, keep going. Who the earth is firing upon my uh, heavy infantry? Desert archers, here they are. Getting a bit bold, getting a bit brave. Right, these guys are going to have to pull back now. Pull them back, form part of the line, just because of the fact that uh, they're out of ammunition. You guys come over here as well. We're just going to Bring you in line. Right, we're going in. We're going in here. We are going in. No messing now. In we go. See if we can wrap our heavy infantry around. Time to get moving, I think. Trouble is we've got trees, and that's going to be a massive problem for us to manoeuvre our uh, troops in. Our horses. Get stuck in, lads! Right, we're in, we're in, we're in. Boop, 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 boop. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're going in, we're going in. Who's this? Oh, some javelin man. Oh, some spare javelin man. It's fine. We don't need them. Oh, we're going in now. We're going in. We're going in. We've got some routers. We've got some routers here. Pilgrims! Attack! Charge! Oh, the mass route! Come on, yes! Come on, lads! 
run them down! Let's get in here! I can't see! The trees are in the way! They've gone! They have absolutely gone! They're shaken! They're battered! They're bloodied! This could well be King Enrique's most glorious victory yet! Broken! They are broken! Utterly crushed! Yes! Only half the enemy force remains. Run them down! Watch out for these spearmen, they are not routing. We don't want to quite. Tangle with those guys just yet. Let them let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let our Andalusian infantry and our macemen chase them down. Come on, run them down. We don't want any men getting back into any form. They're gonna get to their settlement. They're gonna get to their settlement. King, where are you? Quickly! These men are fleeing the field of battle like cowards. Run them down! Quickly! Quickly! Ah. Oh. Mopping up operation time. There we go. That'll do. We got him. We got him. <sighs> the most glorious victory. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. Even the pilgrims are getting stuck in. God bless them! God bless the pilgrims! Go! Ha ha ha! Don't let a single one escape! Gotcha! This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue! Wow! That was King Enrique's finest hour. It was the 2 to 1 strength ratio, and we've seen the past three fights that he's had. We've lost 400 men at a time. This time we lose only 77 men. Perhaps his authority, perhaps his previous record is fluttering in the wind. The Moors have heard of this King Enrique, and they fear him and his army. And now, soon as we lock horns on the battlefield, they just turned and ran. Cowardly dogs! Lots of prisoners caught. Council trees infected. The javelinmen did a fine job. Glorious victory! Oh, 2,000 coin for prisoners. We could ransom them off. Yes, the Sultan will pay. But we don't want to do that. No, we want to no, slice no, them no. down! Not good for our reputation, I suppose, slaughtering prisoners. But really, these are times of war. Times of no mercy. King Enrique has not got where he has by pussyfooting yes. around. Okay. Just going to be a little bit careful. We don't have a massive troop force in Seville, but uh, we'll, we'll, we're just waiting for the troops to come down. The king has more up his sleeve. Oh, yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy, he does. We're going to lay siege to their capital. Let's see how they like that. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. We shall send them to hell or worse. March! Maintain the siege. Will yes, Lord. I mean, nice if we could open the door, I suppose, but uh, without a trace, it's not you a wish. problem. 
Is it not obvious I am your foe, infidel? It's very obvious. Sire. And what is also obvious is that you are going to die beneath our mighty boots. Let's see how they uh, counterattack, shall we? They have got nothing for us. Nothing in return. Perhaps they are ruining the day. They blockaded our port at Lisbon and thereby declared war on us. You foolish, foolish people. The Byzantine Empire are at war with the Republic of Venice. Genoa joins the crusade and the Kingdom of Scotland have been excommunicated. Welcome to my life. <laughs> well, we have a new family member. Oh my god, and King Enrique has been inflicted with pneumonia. No. The king cannot succumb to illness. Not at a time like now. We are really needing his authority, his leadership. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Portugal and Genoa join the crusade. All right. Yes. So, so they go in there My Lord. and retrain, and then that should give us at least a, some some chance of defending ourselves. Up here in a porter, one more turn to finish off the recruitment of the archers and the retraining of the genets, and then we will send pretty much the entirety, apart from. The prince, of course, down to Seville, where we will garrison, just in case of attack. Even if they do not deserve it, I will offer the infidels a fair fight. Despite being an infidel, I respect... Name thy enemy, Lord. We cannot recruit any further troops at this moment in time. This is their capital. We've got a few troop force here. They're not looking too... Oh, he's got a decent amount of command, this guy. He's no pushover. But we've got to keep moving towards our target, so we can't starve them out. And it's seven turns until surrender. This is a pivotal point now. We strike the Moors down here with our crusading army and take their capital, and they will be reeling. They will be reeling. And then we just continue to sweep on through with our crusading army. Looks like the Pope has actually done something to help us for a change. It's a minor miracle. On my way. As our merchant continues on what his journey, tomorrow, his quest, Lord. his own pilgrimage, yes, my Lord. to find gold. This is and find it, go to he will. Right. Um, so our retraining is done. Our recruitment is done. Can we recruit anything else in here? Uh, just peasants. Retrain the troops there. They're getting upgraded armour, which should come in handy. The king is ready to strike out at Cordoba. And look at this! Look at this! It looks like Leon are actually pulling their finger out. They're striking at Mercia. Ah, oh, well, the Moors have really meddled in something that they should not have got themselves into. Striking out at all three of the Iberian factions. Very foolish indeed, because they are suffering big time. Oh, it's a pleasure to see. Okay, good stuff. And as we move further forward with our darling princess, Very well. she is I looking for, for further trade negotiations. Yes, my lord. And we did not realize that the Holy Romans were right here, so we're gonna go I back on ourselves Ask for trade rights with the uh, Holy Romans. I accept this Barely accept it. Deal. Until next time. Because there was a council mission to uh, open open trade, open uh, negotiations with these people. And as a result of that, we've been given 500 florins. Well done, Mr. Paver. Right, I think we're going to have to call close to the session here. It is a short session. We did get a battle. An epic battle. An epic victory, indeed. And... Uh, We've joined a crusade, of course. Uh, we, I'll be doing another session very shortly uh, because this is just not 
Not enough satisfaction, I'm sure. And we shall take down, fingers crossed, Cordoba, with a king suffering with pneumonia. Will that affect us? I hope not. But find out next time. See you soon.